Yeah, uh, my name is Byron. Some know me as TK256. So I do uh, apparel for our people, Uganda. And uh, so I do t-shirts, hats. I have uh, a few other pieces I didn't bring here with me, uh, but hoodies, jumpers, all that kind of stuff. But it's all basically Uganda, trying to promote and put Uganda on the map. Uh huh. For our people, yes, sir. Everything is uh, representing for the for the country, for the people. Well, thank you for representing Uganda in yeah. apparels and art. Yeah. How can one who wants to buy this find you? Uh, how do they find? How are they able to make get one for themselves? So we are online strictly right now. Everything is online. We have a website here and an Instagram. It's uh, qualifierapparel.com. Qualifierapparel.com. Same thing on Instagram. Just type in Qualifier Apparel, uh, Snapchat, all of that good stuff. All that good stuff? Yes, yeah. All right. And you ship to the U.S.? Or? Yes, so it's free shipping to the U.S. All over the U.S. is free shipping. So uh, that's that's something that we have. And then, um, yeah, it's yeah, pretty much that's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. These look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we do, like I said, we do have some more other things that we didn't bring here with us we, uh, to Dallas, but everything is on the website. It's online. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kali. Mr. Awichu, good morning. How are you? Good morning to Chikuga. I'm just wonderfully made and blessed for this Sunday. How is uh, Yuna going so far? I know you are a candidate. How is that going? They told me never to mention anything about election or candidacy unless... So I'm not talking about Yuna. Uh, who, who said that? I was told never to say anything about election or Yuna or candidacy. So, I'm, I'm curious who says that because I am. I want to talk to you uh, because I know I, you're a candidate and uh, I want I'm to hear your message. I'm a candidate. I was taken off the ballot completely and also when why? I ask that how, how, when, why, if you say anything about election again, we are throwing you out of the hotel. So, sir, please okay. don't let me talk about election. I still want that, to that, that, that is a good explanation. I got it. I will follow up with you on that yes, sir. later on. Yes, sir. But thank you very much for letting me know mm. the reason. Yes, now, sir. I find you here. Yes. Who is this beautiful lady you're standing next to and what's going on? If I start on this one, <laughs> I'll not finish today. But the only thing I can tell you, yeah. we are promoting Uganda. We are buying Uganda. We are promoting Ugandans. Vakampala. You know what that means? I come from Kampala, mm -hmm. which is the capital city of Uganda. Uganda. Yeah, beautiful. We have now. a lot of stuff here, uh -huh. all made from Uganda. All products come from Uganda. You see, we grow cotton in Uganda. We have products of that. We have Bitenji right there. And you see what she's dressed me up. This is her style. If I get out of this, is African suit and African attire. Now she gave me this Vakampala. No joke. No guys. So, so Vakampala is your brand? Yeah. Yes. Tell, him, tell us a little bit about that brand. Vakampala is that I want to protect, I mean to promote Uganda, which is Kampala. Um, and also that the fact that we're here in the diaspora, I feel like people should not forget where they come from. We should always, much as we're not in Uganda right now, we should have the other hat, and that's why we have this, so that we never forget where we're coming from. Thank you very much. So, Vakampala, what do you sell? Tell, tell us about the catalog. I have a lot of things. From Bitenji for young girls, the youth, and all nice things. Right now I'm wearing a kaftan. This kaftan is for everyone. I mean, a young person, a big person, you can wear it. It's decent, it's comfortable. It's something you need on a day where you can use it to run errands. If you have a function, you can also wear it. We have t-shirts, we have night robes. You can still have a night robe that has something to do with your country. Why should we promote other people if we have our own things? They're beautiful. We should love what we have. I have jewelry. I have everything. I have the famous and the necklaces. If you've not seen them, you need to grab yourself one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if you've not been here and you do not own this necklace, I don't know what you're doing. It's unisex. If you're a gentleman and you're wondering how can I wear it, if you are someone who loves chains, you can always 
Get the pen and wear on your chain and you still represent your country. Your country. If you are a woman, you can still wear it. If you have your children and you still want them to have a memory of where they come from, this is the thing. Let's promote Uganda. Let's love our country. For God and my country. For God and my country. All right. Let me go back to Mr. Awichi. Yes. Why is it that you find it is important for us to promote our own, to, to support our, dias our diaspora entrepreneurs. Why is this important to you? Well, first and foremost, it's always good to support our own people. Mm. And if we can support our product, who will support us? Exactly. If we can start ourselves to support our, pro our own people who are, who are producing things marked Ugandan or African, this is the best way to to support ourselves. Okay. Yes. Tell me a little bit about California now. What are you in Arizona? Are you in California? Which one is it now? I'm days? in Arizona. <laughs> so, like I said, yeah. Me, I can eat breakfast in Arizona. Uh -huh. Eat lunch in uh, Southern Nevada, Vegas, uh -huh. and then I eat dinner in uh, Southern California. And wow. then I have breakfast in Hawaii. That's how I do things. So, California is okay. I was there the other week, uh -huh. last week. Actually, I tried to arrange for a last funeral ride for my friend, oh, Sema Kula Upas. So, we are working on that. Most probably on the 9th, that's when we are going to have his funeral. So, I was still working on that. So, yes. yeah. Yeah, no, so thank you. Uh, I know we probably also know you as Omulangira Wenguru. Yes. Mr. Semakula, you just mentioned, was a great, I've come to understand, a great lover and supporter of the Uganda Kingdom. I'm sorry I to hear him. about his passing. Yeah, what are the old. arrangements, what uh, burial and, and, and so on? Anything that you can tell the, the community about that? Uh, actually, I, can't, I don't know how much I can say, but uh, we have our first call. It's going to be on Tuesday evening okay. for all the arrangement and the plans. Mm. But uh, what I'm sure of, on the 9th, that's when the service will be. And then from, uh, I don't know when the bar is going to be all the same day or not. I haven't been in much in contact. But for real, on the 9th, that's when we are having the services. Where is the service going to be? It's in Van Nuys, Los Angeles. Van Nuys. Yeah, at St. Mark. Okay. St. Mark's Church. All right. Sir. Any Akatalekek, as we say in Uganda, any other message you want to pass on to not only the, the residents of uh, the community in uh, Arizona, as it's known today, and the everybody who gathered, gathered here today at the convention? Definitely, any, definitely, your message? definitely. I'm so thankful for Yuna. Mm -hmm. I've been attending Yuna for the last 20 years, yeah. and I love it. Mm -hmm. And Yuna is in my heart. No matter what they say about me, I'm still a Yuna member. Yeah. I'll always be a Yuna member. Yuna, I'll, I'll found Yuna here, I'll leave Yuna here. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to see our Yuna for next year. Okay. The same Yuna, we want to come to a place where we come and enjoy and have fun at Yuna. Okay. So we don't need no politics in Yuna. Okay. That's all what I ask for. So Yuna will always stay here. Yuna will leave Yuna here. Okay. So let's rebuild Yuna and have the greatest Yuna we all like. Oh, what I see. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank for talking you to, to me. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Do come to the next video. So I have a good solution tested, but I want to scale. What do you want, marketing? Okay, I'll put in a million dollar per month. Make sure that everyone that you are targeting gets to know about this. I hope you guys have this. No one is clapping at me. So, so then you scale. There is a new solution we've just launched in Uganda to make sure that we can have uh, project creators, uh, marketplace for them to be able to find jobs and also to be able to, to get you know, paid. In a way. There's a big growing market for influencers. I don't know if people are familiar with influencers. Some of these bloggers, what, what, they have become influencers, but they have gained numbers to be abusing people, so don't call them influencers. <laughs> <laughs> so the real influencers are people who have created content, you are an anchor, you have 1.2 million people following you and it's a new product, maybe by Standard Bank or 
MTN is launching 5G, they say talk about this 5G. Mm -hmm. Talk about our new card. So in your way, whatever, you talk about it so people know. Well, the, the 1.5 million people will get to know about that product. That is the first thing. So the problem has always been that I must know you working at MTN is supposed to can give. And be part of the team that is a progress. Now we are saying let MTN stand the growth, the jobs on the app, which is wowsy. Let the influencers have accounts there and then they meet there. So it is AI choosing whether King or Paul are the right people to influence such a product, depending on my profile and the number of followers. And you only need 250 followers across all platforms, which are Facebook. TikTok. So you say we are watching, we are making one uh, 15 years or then years or for next million. So you say we are watching 1.5 million jobs. Trackable. All these things of when I am saying we are creating jobs at the country. So trackable jobs. Traceable, knowing that this this month so many people have gotten jobs and have been paid four or five million dollars. So so that app. Why was the international came to me and said, for Uganda, we don't have money to market. We want to work with Next Media. So we created it. an outfit of it called Next Wowz because our communication agency is called Next Communications. We created Next Wowz. <laughs> so, so, so that's, that's, that's a platform. And because I'm talking to tech people, download it, have it, give me feedback so that we can improve it and we make it better. If there are ways where we can partner, even with great ideas from new people, I'm more than ready to listen. Well, I'll share my, my contacts so that we can engage and see how to connect Ugandans in diaspora back home so that they are fed with the right information, the right content. I want to thank you and wish you the best. Thank you.